What's the purpose of a crown? <clears throat> What's the purpose of a crown? The crown is um, specifically in all of uh, Goetic magic is filed under Solomonic magic. Solomon, King Solomon is, is this, you know, I would say it's a historical figure, but in any way, in any case, it's a, it's a, it's a mythological figure, the wisest magician that has ever lived. He was also the one who captured the 72 spirits of the Goetia. And he was the first one to make, make them his servants. And the crown essentially tells the spirits that you're now a representative of, of King Solomon. Okay. And like, where would people like get a crown? Like with that kind of stuff, like, like where would you find this stuff? Because like, even you're saying like a, a lion skin belt, that's so niche. That is the that is the point. You see, um, effort equals uh, energy, right? So, the more effort you put into creating those things, and sometimes you're gonna have to self create them. I mean, we, we've gotten really used to just buying things. You know, go on Amazon and, and order this, that, and the other. That is convenience, but there's not a lot of value in that. It's much more valuable if you self create those things. You see, and that's really what it is about. Just, yeah, bringing in that, like, creativity, putting in that yeah. that love, sort of like when someone, like, bakes a pie with love, like, you imbue it with your energy. Right. Yeah. Well, that's really nice. And then you appreciate it that much more because you put so much more into it. it has... um, yeah, you mentioned something really interesting about, like, runes to me because I was like, oh, I really want to get some runes. Um, and I was just going to, like, order some. But the idea of like going out and getting my own rocks and forming that connection with like that sacred tool spoke to me so much more when you mentioned that. I was like, I never thought to do that. Like how simple is it to just go out and, and yeah, find what you need in unique ways. Yeah. And I mean, then, the, sorry. Go ahead. No, that's okay. You can go. Well, the magician doesn't doesn't necessarily find his tools. He let the tools come to himself or herself. So what you do is you you put out the intention into the universe. And then as you go through the world, certain objects are going to speak to you. You need mm. me. Come to me. Blah, blah, blah. That's could just interesting. Feeling, I could literally just also like you pick up the personality of that thing. So the whole universe is 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 has anima, which is spirit connected to it, right? So, yeah. so you're sending out that call I want to do this in that ritual and then you go through the world the universe is going to bring you those things that are necessary to to fulfill the purpose of the ritual yeah I had a cute experience with that recently I was meditating and I had this image of a scarab beetle come into my mind I'm like why am I seeing this and it didn't you know it, it just kind of like went by and later that day, I felt called to go to an occult shop and I'm looking at daggers because that's the only reason I, the only thing that I thought I might need. And there was a scarab beetle on one and mm -hmm. like, it just, it spoke to me so much. I'm like, I have to have that. And then, yeah, I, that's when I bought my first dagger. It's yeah. nice. it be a scarab beast? Pardon? Oh, sorry. No, no. You, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. There's just like, it's, a, it's an Egyptian one. It has, it's like an ISIS one. So she's kind of like on the handle, but there's a big scarab beetle. Um, it was in the same position that I saw in my meditation. So it's like, that is for me. And, uh, what do you think about tarot cards? A lot of people have like beliefs that they have to be like gifted to you. What do you think about that? I mean, if they're gifted to you, I've, I'm not a big fan of that. I never have had tarot cards gifted to me, and I wouldn't use them if I, if if, I, if they had been gifted to me. You know, there's this um, there's this thing. What the 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 occult implements and instruments that you use, they develop, they become an extension of your will, to the point where they will start acting without your conscious attention, if that makes sense. So they 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 are imbued with your will. I mean, there's this one uh, experience where. I had a dagger and a guy that I was working with, we would meet every weekend. It was when I was living in Munich and we would meet every weekend on Sundays and do rituals together. Right. And he stole one of my daggers. Mm. I was pissed. 
But I would not would have I would have I did not expect him to to steal it, right? So yeah. I didn't entertain that thought. Uh, a month later, he comes back and brings me that dagger. Man, I gotta. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, bro, what what happened? And then he tells me that it almost it, it developed its own life. The dagger, basically, whenever he tried to use it, he would unintentionally cut himself he would hurt himself with it and then it would never do what he wanted something would go wrong something would would not go as planned and he's like man i was even um in my sleep and whatever i i was seeing the dagger and 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 being stabbed and all these things so i'm bringing it back to you to to get peace so these things become an extension of you they become an extension of your magical will and the same applies to your tarot cards. The same applies to your to your scrying mirror. The same applies to everything else. So, um, I would not use other people's magical implements. That's like wearing somebody's used underwear to me. I don't. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. No, that's that's well said. And thank you for sharing that. I was gifted one set of tarot cards, and I never used them for that reason. I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> I'm much happier going out and just buying what I want new. Yeah. feels fresher that way so i like how you uh put that yeah. with those uh, scrying mirrors like if somebody wanted to start doing that like is it best with like a handheld mirror what's the difference like are there different kinds like what's what's the difference between like a regular mirror or like a black scrying mirror the black scrying mirror <clears throat> is not going to be just is not going to be distracting you with with uh, your image oh and it is easier to pre remember. We're, we're always seeing things with our with our spiritual vision. The less distraction you have with your physical vision, the easier it is to to become aware of the spiritual vision. So if it's a it's a, if it's a neutral background, it, it's much easier. And then black. I mean, black is the easiest when it comes to that. It's it's uh, it's the easiest projection surface. Oh, that's interesting. 